Uh, yes, let's get out, and I'll show off my deck a bit. Uh, the, the deck that I have is, I guess, common throughout all uh, all collectible card games. I have what's known as an attrition deck. Yeah. Okay, sweet. They're going to let me look at it. So I have three Sheons. Sheons are good. Uh, pretty much because they're a human form. That's what I go for. And then we have uh, Cosmos. And she's going to be one of my big damage dealers. When Sheon's on the field, you can just throw her on there without the cost. We'll go over cost when we're in the game. Uh, then I have level 10 Sheon's, once again, for damage. Uh, you don't hit Reallians very well, but I'm not up against Reallians very much. Not very many people like those in terms of the computer decks. But, you know, this is for damage increase. Uh, it works out very well. You don't need to ignore, you can ignore all the other conditions that usually apply to putting her out there. If Xion's out there already, level one Xion in particular. Uh, then we, we skip everybody else, all these important people I skip until we get to civilian male. This is just another stock human. Humans are not very good, but I have him in there. Uh, he, he does a little bit of attack, but I usually don't put him out on the battlefield at all. Uh, next up we have the Reallian Males. Uh, I do love Reallians in this because, as you can see, uh, put, you can only put one card out normally into the standby area. Reallians, though, do not count, so I can put as many Reallians out there as I can. Uh, there's only four slots, and that's usually what limits me, so I love Reallians. Um, they become fodder sometimes, though. Same with the females and the government Reallians. Although I think the government realians do have a two attack as opposed to everything else that we've seen so far with one. Well, Cosmos and level 10 Xion have three, but you know, outside of that, the basic cards, they, they have one. Uh, this one also pretty good uh, because of two attack, but it is close range only, unfortunately. Uh, then I have the combat realians, both male and female. I've loaded the deck with those. Uh, because these guys have a ballistic attack type, which means they can attack with range. That is always good. Bunny, I also have three of. They're not really showing that anymore uh, because that is... Well, the, yeah, it's lower than everything else. But I use this one in case of an emergency. Uh, an emergency being I want to wait a turn uh, so I can get more realians out there, usually. Uh, but I rarely have to use it, but occasionally I will have to use the body. Then I skip all the mechs. All of them. No need for any of this stuff for my deck. Uh, where is the next one? Then I have Matthews. Matthews is key to this deck. Uh, this one, it's kind of weird. Matthews, of course, had the gambling debt, so the idea here is that you lose a card whenever you draw a card. So you you put one in the lost pile or the junk, I think it's the lost pile, and then you draw a card so you have to pay a card in order to get a card. Uh, the reason I use this is so that my opponent has to do it even though it applies to me as well. I do like putting this one out there as early as I can though and hopefully, you know, he doesn't die. Sometimes he does, but I usually get a replacement by then. None of the Gnosis either. None of these. Nada. So it's probably good. Yeah, there's the next one. I just have Miyuki's email to prevent any kind of event cards that they're using against me. Uh, you it doesn't cost anything. This is just your event stopper, so I have three of those. Then I don't have any of these. It's a fairly simple deck, I would say. It's probably the simplest one that I know of that's really effective. Uh, once I got the idea of how this deck works, I don't think I lost when I was paying attention. Uh, there were a couple times when I wasn't paying attention. Lose because I was refusing to, to play the game properly sometimes. Uh, there's not going to be that much more. Yeah, it's a little bit further down, and I think this is the last one that I actually have, which is the waste money card, uh, so that you would draw additional cards. So you put one of those out there, you draw two at the beginning of your turn. After that, you know, you put two, you get three, 
I have all three out there, then we draw four. That's that's when I start really winning. And I think that's it. That's all that is in the deck. Yes. Uh, exit deck building mode. Hopefully I didn't get rid of that so I can still show this off. Okay, let's actually show an exhibition here. I know this video is probably going a little bit long, uh, but we're going to just do the one uh, card game here. It should go fairly quickly. We're up against VX Attack. If I remember, those are mechs, uh, so I shouldn't have a problem. Mech, mech builds take a while to build up, and my, my cards are all about doing things very quickly. Oh, I am liking this. This one is good. So, I got a Combat Reallian male. He has an HP of 2 and an attack of 1, and he has Ballistic. Uh, because he's Reallian, I, I can throw him out there as soon as possible. Oh, I thought that was the other one. This is a good one. Okay, so then I don't like this one very much anymore, and I'm actually going to exchange it. So then, what do we have here? We have an all-purpose hand. Civilian male hand. Combat Reallian, Xion, and Matthews. So, I actually like this one okay. It's not fantastic, but it will do. I'm going to keep it. Draw another card, get another bunny, unfortunately. Uh, you can only play one bunny at a time, which makes things somewhat difficult sometimes. Uh, the first turn is all about setting. You can ignore pretty much everything else uh, on in terms of the phases, it's pretty much all about setting. So I'm gonna put Sheon out there, which means I did lose a card, but I'm okay with that for now. I'll throw my other, uh, my only two realities out there. And that's pretty much it for now. That is good. And like I said, it's pretty much just about setting the cards out there. And because I threw a reality mail out there in all purpose, I get an extra card back, which is what I'm looking for. Even though, in order to win the game, you want your opponent to run out of cards before you do, early on, I am fine with this. Uh, it looks like my opponent threw a sheet on yeah, it's The first one is all about just setting. That's pretty much all that happens this time. Hey, look at that. I got a couple things that I want. What did you throw out there? Is that Xion? It is a Xion. Okay, so now uh, moving cards. That's when you move things from the standby to the battlefield, move them around the battlefield. That is fine. This is my hand. Uh, hands, of course, go up front. Uh, ballistics can then go behind. I'm going to put Xion in the back so that uh, this guy can protect him take damage before she ever gets damage done to you. Okay, I don't have any event cards. You'll never see me use an event card in the event slot. It just doesn't work that way. I don't have anything that works. Uh, I do have another combat reality card, so I'm going to throw that one out there. I'm also going to throw Matthews out there now, so we're going to start uh, taking away cards from both of our decks, but then I'm also going to throw this waste money out there as well, so that we can uh, draw decks and dealt, or draw cards off the top of the deck at the beginning of each turn, and that will help me out. This is what they call a waste money deck. And now it's the battle, the ballistics go off, the hand of course doesn't have anything to hit because there's nothing close range, but I did hit two cards off the top of the deck. Now, they get one card lost due to Matthews, and now they have to draw two cards. Now, I believe you can only hold six cards in your hand at a time. They did get the first mech out there. That is not good for me. They do get an attack off on my regular... Uh, one of my combat reactions. That's fine. Now I lose a card, but I still get to draw two more. I've got a Reallian and an event blocker card. I'm fine with that. Uh, let's move you over here. Move you here. Now Matthews does not need to be on the battlefield, obviously, for this stuff to work. He just needs to be in the standby area, so he's going to stay there. He actually has a really good attack, which is three, but it's only hand, so I want to keep him in the back. I, I do want him to do attrition. Uh, so now, because I have this set up, I'm not going to be killing Xion, but I wasn't going to be killing him anyway. We might as well get more damage done deck, which is really what I'm going to do. So let's end this phase, and this is going to be my setup uh, for the battle. 
Uh, now we're already prepping for the next turn, which means I want to get a Reallion out there, of course. Just throw as many Reallions out there as often as I can. And we're going to get the Human out there. I would throw a Bunny out, because the Bunny is capable of going out. In order to get a Bunny out, you do need uh, two cards out on standby without the E on them. It does cost a card, but I don't want to down my own cards right now. I should also mention that Matthews does cost a human and a card. Uh, a human has to be out on the field, either in standby or in battle. Uh, but no E on the hands. Even if there was an E, he couldn't be thrown out there. That's how it worked. But he still costs a card, but as you can see, I'm already ahead in, in cards. 26 to 25. But after this... Yeah, they can block using some kind of event card, but rarely have that. But now I'm ahead, 26 to 23, and they're going to start throwing cards away. It looks like they actually threw away a hammer card into the jump Plus, I get a card back. Things are going pretty damn well for me right now. Now I'm ahead, 25 to 20, and they're going to have to throw some cards away, I believe. Oh, that's a beast. Good. And it looks like they got a Cosmos out there. Down goes one of my Ballistic cards. That is fine for now. Because I got a Cosmos card of my own, it looks like. I got that after the reality effect. So now I draw two more. Okay, um, let's see. And, and, and. So four or three is actually the best one that we've got. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this guy back. Uh, I want these guys to live. Honestly, if this reality dies, I'm not going to be too upset about it. Yeah. So that's going to be my new setup. Obviously, I'm not going to do any damage to the deck, but I will get the energy to it overall. Now I can set. I'm going to throw Cosmos out there. Cosmos is very vital. Uh, it normally would cost you five cards to throw Cosmos out there with an HP of six and an attack of three. She is ballistic. Uh, but if Sheon's out on the battlefield, I don't lose any cards. That's very important. So, in goes Cosmos because Sheon is out on the field. Then we have a couple of realities. I'll throw this one out there because it has a better attack. And we're good. Nothing to block, so let me go ahead and get my two shots off from the back row. Not gonna do damage. Not yet. And that's pretty much it. They draw again, and now I'm ahead. What is that? 22 to 17. We're getting there. It's gonna take me some time, but we're getting there. They threw Cosmos on the That is not necessarily very good for me. But I can actually kill Cosmos. I am looking for And ooh, that is there's a lot of damage that they did to me. But it's not really this deck, I will be honest, it's not really about winning the battles. It's about taking stuff away from them. It's taking their cards away from them. Ooh, I got another Cosmos. That would normally be good, but uh, I can only have one Cosmos on my field. I'm going to throw Matthews out there so I can kill this Cosmos. Uh, that Cosmos needs to die. And I'm going to throw uh, this one out there. I'm still waiting for a level 10 Shion card to show up, but that doesn't seem to be happening. Uh, we'll throw the Reallion, and then another civilian male out there, and then that is it for now. So now I should be able to take out the Cosmos. Right, three, three, down goes Cosmos. And that's really what I wanted to do, because Cosmos did a lot of damage to me. I don't like it when people do damage to me. As you can see, it doesn't really matter if I lose the battles, as long as they don't do damage to my deck, which is what I'm trying to do to them. Oh, they got a good spread. They got a spread shot out. This is not good. Luckily, the spread does come in. Oh, it doesn't come at all. Interesting. 
So Matthews went down. That's fine. I actually just picked up a Matthews. Should be easy from here on out. I should have this really in the bag. Okay, so that's going to be my new one. Uh, pretty much the idea here is to flood the field with realities and anything else I can throw out there. Occasionally I'll throw a Cosmos or a high level Sheon out there, but that's pretty much the idea. I do want to throw another Matthews out because my Matthews died. I happen to get another one. So we're not going to kill. Oh, we do kill the, the guy up front, and we're going to get close to killing. Close to killing their Sheon. Unfortunately, the next one is not going to be good for me because they, they are going to be going for the spread, which is pretty much going to kill everybody that I have out there. Cosmo should live, but they don't have any backups just yet there. They finally get backup. Uh, but just a couple more turns, and I should have this one. And here comes the spread. It kills everybody but Cosmo. That's fine. Oh, and it downs her? Oh, that is not so fine anymore. That is not so fine anymore. And now I get a little bit. Okay, so the spread, those are usually one time only attacks. So I'm okay with that. I don't have anything that does damage to a distance. Okay, so let's just once again flood everything around here. I'm not going to do any damage this turn. That is that is the downside. But I can... Uh, I need another level launch. Actually, let's throw a bunny out there and just waste time. As I go for uh, another waste money, I can only throw one of those out there at a time. So I'm not going to get any damage done, but bunny will down everything here. Not only for my turn, but uh, my opponent's turn as well. So that's kind of a stall tactic that I have for situations like this. And is that it? No, they have one card left. So if I can do one damage, I'm really good. I just need, and I don't have some kind of ballistics. Okay. So they're down, my my deck is fine, and as long as I don't needlessly waste a shit ton of cards right now, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Oh good lord, the, the game does start to lag because I start having so many cards out there. Uh, let's put Bunny out instead of you, and uh, I am going to have to throw some cards just away after this. Uh, are we even realistic just by chance? Yeah. No? Okay. So you can go out and you can go over there. And I think I'm going to have to throw some things away. Your deck recovers five cards. Do I want to block this card? I do. Uh, let's block it with one of my Miyuki emails so that they don't recover anything to their deck. I don't like that. Down goes the Shion card. Phase is over. Adjust. They draw. And I win. And there you go. That's how it's done. And that is how you win. Well, that's how you win with this deck. It wasn't the best that I've ever done, but at the end, I won, and that's all that's important. I let that level 10 Shion card go out there for too long, and as a result, you get, you know, promo pack number one. They're, they don't give you very many prizes that are very good. You have to do the tournament and hope in order to get the promo cards, and they just give you one card from what I remember. Uh, here you can open it. I believe I have everything here. Well, I know I have everything here, but I think I have three of everything, so I can just take that and boom, they sold all 10, so I get 50 back. So that is the card passport. We are done here. 
Uh, if you want to, once again, win uh, the good stuff, you have to go for the tournament. If you want to do two-player, uh, I don't have anybody to play with me. You do have to create decks. You can't, like, import a deck. You have to create two different decks to, to play each other. But that is it. That is it for the card passport. So, that is going to do it for this part of... Let's play Xenosaga episode one. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by every card in the game. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time for some showcase specials. Thanks for watching.